What's up, YouTube? This is your brother Radio One here. Peace in Hotel. I want to first give all honor and all praise to the God of my ancestors, to the God of Africa, His Majesty, the Most High, Amen Ra. Let me also give all praise and all honor to my great ancient African Pharaoh ancestors. May they rest in peace. Now, in this video, I will be exposing the fallacy and falsehood of white pride and white nationalism. Okay, white pride is based on lies. There is no truth in white pride. Okay, because white pride uplifts and glorifies the history of Africa and the history of the Middle East more than they do their own. Okay, so that's why I say. There is no truth in white pride. Now, and I will also be dealing with the fact that there is no connection between ancient Egypt and white Europeans. Okay? Now, to all you racist white supremacists who say that we need to kick out all the blacks, the Hispanics, and the Asians and create us a white paradise, I'm saying to you that you are full of you know what, that you are full of S-H-I-T. Okay, and I am here to give you a dose of reality. I am here to tell you the truth. Okay, now when your white European ancestors first came to America and after settling in America, in exterminating and massacring and slaughtering all the Indians that was your opportunity to create a white paradise okay that was your chance to build a white only paradise but did it happen no what did you do you went over to Africa and brought black slaves to do your work because you were too lazy to get up off your butt and do your own work. Okay? Then what did you do after that? You allowed people from the Middle East and other non-white people from Asia to come settle in America. And you also allowed the Hispanics to come settle in America. And you also mixed and mingled with the black slaves and other non-white people that settled in America. Now, keep in mind, people, I am not talking or referring to all white people. I am referring to the racist white supremacists who wants to kill all non-white people and make this planet an all white planet. That is who I am talking to. Okay? And that's why I have no respect for the racist white supremacists because the racist white supremacists 
care nothing about white pride, okay, or the survival of their race. All they care about is glory and wanting to dominate and be on top, okay? And even if it means stealing the cultures of other people, okay? So the racist white supremacist is not a true racist white supremacist, okay? There is no true white pride in white supremacy. You got that? Now, And that's why I say that the racist white supremacist is the lowest of low scum of the earth. Okay? And that is why many white people or non-racist white people are seeing through your lives. Okay? They are seeing that this white racism is a bunch of BS. Now, I myself, I'm all for black, black pride, okay? Or black supremacy, okay? Or the preservation of my black people. That's what I am about, okay? See, but <clears throat> because of white supremacy, that is being interrupted. Okay? See, Africans, we black, we, or what you want to call us, hotel niggas or whatever. Okay? We black, black, pro-black nationalists or pro-black supremacists just want to be ourselves. Okay? We want to worship our African gods and give homage to our African ancestors. Okay? And that is what we want to do. But our people are grasping on to this we are the world of Let's come together or the world come together, okay? Most of our people are grasping on to that, okay? So a lot of our people are not with black pride or black nationalism, okay? But white supremacists, the true white supremacists care nothing for white pride. You got to know that, okay? Because you're trying to claim ancient Egypt, okay? And I'm telling you, leave Egypt alone, okay? Because when you're trying to teach your white young children and you're going to teach them about ancient Egypt, they are going to grow up to find out that these people were black and they were African okay and that right there alone will cause them to go interracial mix with someone of African or Middle Eastern descent okay but they will find out soon that these people were black and they are still black Today, if you go to southern Egypt, those people are still black. And most of them are black as midnight. Blacker than me. Okay? So, you cannot use Egypt to uplift white pride. That's just as foolish as a pro-black person using Greece or Rome to uplift Black pride. It makes no sense at all. It makes no sense. White supremacists, you're living a lie. Okay? And that's why I have no respect for you. I never have respect for a white supremacist. Now, 
in, as we know, the racist or the European invader tried to do the same thing he did to the Native American Indians, to the black Africans of Africa, and to the people of the Middle East. Okay? But he failed to do what he did to the Indians, to the Africans in the Middle East. Okay? And why is this? Because the people of Africa in the Middle East are a natural warrior people. When we deal with the people of Africa, the people of Africa are the people of Pharaoh. Okay, when you read the Old Testament Bible and you read about Pharaoh's army, that, that is the people of Africa. Okay? Every African has the blood of Pharaoh running in his veins. Okay? Because even after the fall of the empire of the Pharaohs, Pharaoh returned back to the land of his origin, which was the interior of Africa. Okay? So that's why the face of Africa is still black today. And that's why the face of Africa is not white. And also when we deal with the Middle East, the Middle Easterners are the descendants or the people of the mighty, the mighty Assyrians and the Babylonians and the Persians. These are the people of the Middle East. Okay? They are a natural warrior people. Okay? They, unlike the Indians, you cannot just come into Africa and come into the Middle East and bully up on people and do as you please and have it your way, okay? Because they will fight you, okay? They will take the fight to you. And that's what's happened when the European invaded Africa in the Middle East. They got defeated, okay? They may have had some victories, but for the most part, they got defeated, okay? Because if white Europeans had conquered Africa, then the face of Africa will be white today. But it's not. It's still black. And if they had conquered the Middle East, the, middle, the face of the Middle East will also be white today. But it's not. It's tan. Okay? So that's why you never conquered Africa in the Middle East because they were a warrior nation. Even when you read about the Romans and the Greeks invading Africa. Okay? Of course, they conquered Egypt after Egypt was defeated by the Persians. Okay? And they just came right on into Egypt. But when they came into the western parts of Africa, a lot of them got defeated. They got their butts kicked. Okay? They got their butts kicked. And it got ran out. Okay? Now, when some of you say that you conquered us, you conquered black people in America, no, that is a lie. Okay? White Europeans never conquered black people in America. We were sold to you. Okay? You may have conquered the Indians and stole their land, but you never conquered us. We were conquered by our own kind, and we were sold to you, okay? If some of you white supremacists want to call yourself warriors, no, you are not a warrior. You are a coward, okay? When you came into the land of the Indians, you wipe them out with the gun, okay? You didn't go hand-to-hand -hand combat with them. You used the gun. You took advantage of their peaceful 
in har harmless, un unwarlike nature, and you use the gun on top of that to wipe them out. Okay? So, before you start bragging about yourself and talking about, oh, uh, you're an Aryan warrior, okay? No, you're not. You're a coward. Okay? You're giving yourself too much credit. You're overrating yourself. Okay? Now, when we deal with ancient Egypt, white people have no connection to ancient Egypt. Okay? The first Europeans to come into Egypt were the Macedonian Greeks. Okay? Of course, we had Greeks that came into Egypt during the 26th dynasty to serve as mercenaries, but those Greeks came from Asia. Those were Asiatic Greeks, known as the Ionians and the Ionians and the Carrions. Okay? Those Greeks came from Asia. The first Europeans to come into Egypt and settle there were the Macedonian Greeks, which took place in 332 BCE during the time of Alexander the Great, okay, or Alexander the Fake, okay? Now, then after that came the Romans, then after the Romans came the French, okay? This was the first time that Western Europeans called French came into Egypt. Okay, there is no connection with Western Europeans in Egypt or no connection between Europe and Egypt at all. Now, no colonies from Egypt ever settled in Europe. In ancient Egypt never settled in Europe. Okay, now. only ancient colony we hear of is the, the flight of the legendary king known as Donus, okay? And his 50 daughters who fled from Egypt and migrated and settled in what is known as Argos, Greece, okay? But this was a small colony, okay? Now, but no colony from Egypt ever settled in other parts of Europe, okay? Now, when we deal with the people of Spain and the people of Italy, okay? No colony of Egypt ever settled in Spain or Italy. Spain and Italy have no ancestral connection to ancient Egypt. Now, but they do have ancestral connections to the land of Canaan or Phoenicia because it is well documented in the records that Phoenicians from Phoenicia migrated and settled into Italy in Spain okay but not Egypt not Egyptians okay now if some of you want to say that African Americans have no connection to ancient Egypt. No, that is a lie. African Americans have the biggest connection to ancient Egypt. Okay? Because the first colonies from Egypt settled in Western Africa. It is written in the book of Genesis, chapter 10, that the sons of Mizraim, the Descendants of Mizraim went west and settled there. Okay? And you read Josephus Flavius, he says that the first sons of Egypt settled in West Africa. Do your research. Okay? But there were no Egyptian colonies in Europe. Okay? And Europeans never came to Egypt and founded civilization.
the founders of Egyptian civilization came from the southern interior of the African continent. Okay? Now, so, white people in America, Europeans, you have no connection to ancient Egypt. Now, if you disagree with me and you want to debate me, then leave a message on the reply section and we can debate and show me the evidence, okay? Because every time one of you white supremacists come on my page and talk about West Africans have no connection to Egypt <clears throat> and the ancient Egyptians were white and white people have connections to ancient Egypt, you never show evidence. I always ask you, show me a historical account of the connection of ancient Egypt and Europeans. And you can never show it. And you can't show it because it don't exist. Okay? So, the people who are saying that West Africans or black people in America have no connection to ancient Egypt are actually the people who have no connection to ancient Egypt. And most of the time, they are lying, racist, white supremacists. Okay? It is these lying, racist, white supremacists who want to deprive Africans of their culture and steal it for themselves. Okay? So, so that is what I'm saying. Okay? White supremacists care nothing for white pride. White supremacists are a race of frauds. They are a race of liars. Okay? A white supremacist have no honor. Okay? And that's why most white people are drawn away from it. That's why when these white supremacists come into these institutions and try to recruit people they kick your behinds out because they know you are full of it okay there is no truth in white supremacy so that is all I want to say there's a lot I want to say but I'm going to keep it right there and if I want to if I decide to do another video then maybe I will but yes that is the fact, okay? No white pride and white supremacy. Only lies and deception, okay? And only evil, okay? Only evil and wickedness. That's all it is in white supremacy, okay? Black supremacists or black nationalists, we want to be ourselves. We want to be African, okay? We are not fake like the white supremacists, okay? The white supremacists is the scum of the earth. And as I close out, I leave these words with you, white supremacists. <clears throat> these are the words I'm going to leave with you, white supremacists. Rest in peace, white supremacy, okay? Because you are a lie, you are evil, and you are racist. And it is game over for you. Time is up for you, okay? Your glory days are over with. There will never be a white paradise, okay? So, with that, I'm going to leave it there. And this is your boy, Radio One. Thanks for tuning in. And until next time, Egypt stays in Africa. Peace, people.